Hello guys, in this video I will use Blender 2.8 for sculpting a stylized stone with the standard brushes and dynamic topology. We can start with the default cube and create a simple base mesh. I go to edit mode and face selection and bring the top face a bit down. I press G and Z to constrain to the Z axis for this. And after that I press the K key to enable the knife tool to cut out a small piece. Just like that and then I switch to vertex selection, select this inner vertex here, delete it and then I select the three vertices and press F to fill. Ok and then I select all by pressing the A key and after that Ctrl and B to add a small bevel to the object. Alright then back to object mode and open the modifiers panel to add a multi resolution modifier because I want to subdivide the mesh a few times before I start sculpting. Then I press apply and now I can start with a mesh that is a bit more dense. After that I go to sculpt mode but before I start I disable the overlays and make use of the shading feature to adjust the colors. I use a darker grey tone for the stone, we don't need the outline but I'm going to use the cavity with a higher ridge value and this already gives the model a kind of painterly look and feel. I also increase the valleys and enable the shadows. So this is a nice environment that you can use as a sculpting helper. Ok everything is set up. But first things first, let's save the file and save often because this is still an alpha version. On the left side you can see the brushes which are the same as in Blender 2.7 but they are organized in a different way. There are groups to save some space, the grab and dump brush are grouped, also blob and inflate and here's another group for smooth, scrape and flatten. I enable flatten cause this is the first brush that we will use. I disable the X symmetry, this is enabled by default and by pressing the F key you can change the size of the brush and with Shift and F the strength can be adjusted. Now let's define the dynamic topology settings. I turn to constant detail so that the detailing is not depending on the brush or the zoom level and I set the resolution to a higher value, let's say 100. Ok, save again, don't forget this and then I enable dynamic topology. The first thing I will do is to flatten the edges to give the stone a more stylized look and feel. I have the flatten brush enabled and just brush over the edges. I use the mouse for sculpting in this video, if you use a tablet you can make this look even more natural. I speed this up now a bit, this is the same technique for all the edges, just flatten them with random variations. Alright, after that I switch to the sculpt draw brush and with the control key pressed I carve some cracks and damages into the mesh. At the start and end parts of the cracks I use a smaller brush and I also use the smooth brush to smooth out these areas. If you use a tablet instead of a mouse you can have the same effect by using pressure sensitivity. You can also add some smaller damages here and there with the brush and control key press to carve into the mesh. What I also want to show you is how to use textures for your brushes. I add a texture here in the texture panel for brushes and I use a rock texture from Michael Vicente aka Orb 
a 3D artist from Blizzard. I added the download link to his brushes to the description below. The texture is not visible in the preview, I think that is still a bug in Blender 2.8, but here you can see the image in the UV image editor. Now the texture is added to the Sculpt Draw brush, you can see this here, in the texture menu, and I set the stroke to airbrush. When you press the F key to change the brush size, you can also see a preview of the texture. Ok, now you can go ahead and paint rock parts to the mesh with the Ctrl key pressed, so that you subtract instead of adding topology. I also adjusted the strength of the brush, so that I can add these parts more carefully. After that, I increased the resolution of the dynamic topology to add finer details. First I used the flatten brush again to improve the stylized effect. In the end I go even higher with the resolution, to be able to add very small details for the damages and the cracks. So guys, these were my first experiences with sculpting in Blender 2.8. I hope you find these interesting and useful, and if you do, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Consider supporting me on my Patreon, cause this would really help me to create more videos like this. Thanks for watching, thanks for your support, and I'll see you on JNM.